Hello friends, welcome to the SAP HANA on IBM Power Systems and IBM System Storage. SAP HANA on Power is an established solution allowing customers to run HANA based application on a flexible IBM Power Systems infrastructure. So existing IT assets, server storage, skills and processes procedures can easily be reused instead of enforcing additional investment into dedicated SAP HANA only appliance. Today we will see in this workshop that uh, how we can SSH into a server that is uh, running on Power 8 uh, and how we can set up the uh, Bastion node and also how we can connect to the uh, different SID and then then finally can access HANA cockpit. We'll also understand what HANA cockpit is and how the administration of these tools can be done using this one integrated dashboard. We'll describe the installation and initial configuration of a HANA on Power demo and test environment. As such, it covers the initial setup of Linux on Power partition and host a HANA in memory database. We'll describe the installation initial configuration of a HANA on Power system. And also we have uh, added a server for HANA system operations and uh, the different uh, steps to install and administrate the SAP uh, BW application server are also described. So, uh, so going over here, looking into HANA AWS SSH tunnel.sh file and then HANA WS student RSA. These are different files with the uh, with the access keys and allows us to remotely connect to the HANA um, uh, database that lies onto one particular uh, server that's that's running on Power8. And then, um, as we see here, we have set, we have made a directory uh, under the home uh, home directory that's .ssh. So this file already exists. And then we we try to access the config files here. And uh, inside the config files, when we go there, we see that uh, you know, upon installing one of these files uh, onto the config files, we see that host name is uh, having this IP with the identity file, and then the username is root and student here, and then there is this SID. What our goal is to, to convert this SID to the one we intend it to be, so in this case, H14. And then um, uh, once we do that, we try to uh, change the config, and then we try to log into the uh, Bastion node. Once we, we are able to log into the Bastion node, it's permanently added to our list of known hosts. And then you can also access your host file under ETC from your terminal onto your Mac. And and then, uh, you know, you can do a ping just to do a, uh, just to find out that your network is running. Um, and you can, once you do the ping, it's uh, basically is telling you that you have network connectivity. Uh, we will once we have the network connectivity, we are able to set up the local host and how we are going to set up the local host and um, and things that we are going to get into details with is uh, this proxy jump bastion node. Um, we are now configuring configuring it with the H14 SID. Once we have done that, the connection is established. We are able to root. We are able to SSH root in the uh, SSH root for H14 uh, SID and that H14 SID over here uh, we are connected to it and then we can look into the HDB info. Now what is HDB info? It's, uh, it's the access to the HANA system. The first activity is to add the HANA system that we want to access and then start the HANA studio and log in with a valid user ID. Uh, the first login is the, is the system user. So the HANA studio connects to a HANA DB instance via JDBC and on, a, on different ports. Once that, once that is done, the, the port is connected to uh, the HANA system. And that's when you can assign the instance number where you can add new systems. Uh, the system management and administration is done using the HANA cockpit. And that HANA cockpit can be accessed with, uh, uh, with this local host uh, um, IP address. This local host IP address is, uh, is defined under the, uh, this particular file that, that we have changed the permissions for and, and applied in. And then we are doing a grab with RSA. So if you see here, we are trying to figure out uh, what are the different uh, services running on what IP addresses and then assigning onto the host, the host name. 
in order to access the cockpit. What cockpit does is basically uh, what what is it is a system where the uh, it's a web application you can access from a browser. However, if you can uh, you can also launch the SAP HANA cockpit directly from the SAP HANA Studio. But in in the and in the context menu of the systems view you can choose configuration and monitoring we will access that system quite shortly now so over here as you see you can start the port for HANA system you can install the licenses to install a HANA licenses you can go to the HANA studio log in and right click on your database SID and in the systems view you can go to the license option and set it we will also look into the different configuration options different replication schemes so let's let's quickly go to the local host uh, for the SAP HANA and oh, let me just bring that system up over here so so this is the this is the system D system DB at H14 and over here you see so this is the index of HANA on power workshop presentation material this particular is the system DB H14 system that we just set up using the terminal it gives you services alerts and and why these services are and alerts are important because uh, you know it is mandatory to set up monitoring and alerting in case a card fails to instantly take corrective actions so it's very important and and sap hana on power is basically uh, this is the demo environment that consists of a HANA database server and application server. So partitions on, uh, on a virtualized power server S822. So the, the, the used storage is, uh, is software uh, attached uh, storage and provided by IBM Spectre Virtualize, SAN volume control system. So in this we'll see that uh, we have the details of uh, session threads admission control system replication what is system replication sap hana provides the possibility to replicate the sap hana system within the same or over two data centers for like high availability and disaster recovery and this was um, this was also launched onto the sap sapphire conference that sap hana on power provides uh, exceptional dr and ha capability each service and instance of the primary sap hana system communicates like pairwise with its counterpart in the secondary system uh, we, we can replicate data persist data logs and also uh, load data to memory we can do the logging and data can be compressed before shipping different features offered by sap hana system replication the secondary system does not accept requests or queries whereas you can you, you can actually create a backup to enable system replication. And what that means is there is a primary node, there's a failover node. When the failover nodes take over, what's a takeover? Takeover is when the, the primary node is down, the whole complete processing goes to failover node. So things like that, we can do monitor performance, monitor table usage, open block transactions, memory profiling. Even the replications are synchronous in memory mode, synchronous mode, full synchronous mode, and asynchronous. And uh, there are different resources uh, that are also provided in the notes below, uh, you know, in the chat options for further exploring SAP HANA on power. And uh, uh, initial backup post installation and configuration of task manager are several other topics of installation. So we, we should... Uh, we should also keep in mind that uh, we can uh, trigger different queries onto this database, can manage this from one particular dashboard. We also see that this can be accessed at this particular um, node. Uh, you can also register another database onto changing this node to, let's say in this case, 51028, and you can get the CPU usage de uh, details. Uh, and uh, there are different resources uh, that, that you can uh, further explore to figure out what are the functionalities, what are the different features provided by SAP HANA database, and how to install a license. Uh, for installing the license, you can go to the studio, and from the studio there, like, you have to go to right click on your database SID in the system and, and then go to the licensing option. So that's how you can uh, basically uh, also display all applied licenses keys, and uh, the one that are shown over here. So, uh, uh, 
um, to get an overview about the infrastructure characteristics of your HANA system, this is where you go. You can open the administration perspective of the HANA Studio. You can also get the perspective by double click on the system name. You can check various tabs for more details. And then uh, if you have more questions, please feel free to contact. Uh, this is this is just an overview and if you want more details set up a demo please reach out and uh, please uh, uh, like the video and subscribe us and and get in touch with us to know more about uh, different topics different uh, applications for uh, that can be connected or integrated with your sap hana system on power thank you so much for listening in today hope you have a good one